Hi, I'm Robbie from Act Up Dublin and Act Up Dublin are here to go into Hawkins Street Department of Health to see if Simon Harris will finally meet us to talk about prep in Ireland. What are we doing? We're waiting for, um... Will is gonna come, so we're sitting here waiting for Simon Harris to meet with us as he's promised on a number of occasions now. Are we on the queue? Signed in. <laughs> Signed in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, if you want to sign in for the whole group, and I was like, okay. He said, do you have a, do you have a meeting? I was like, we have several commitments for Simon Harris to meet with us. Um, one in particular that I did um, oh, yeah. Three weeks ago I met with Simon Harris and um, he gave me a personal commitment that he would meet with us and a handshake on that. And then about two weeks ago uh, when I was in the Dáil I met him again. He said, well have you sent your email through to us for a request for a meeting? And I said, yes we have. And uh, he said he would check with the office. So we hadn't even uh, got an acknowledgement back from his office at that time saying that he would, uh, would meet with us. Uh, I had to make two phone calls to his office before we actually got an acknowledgement back uh, from us, uh, to us uh, to, to meet with us. Um, the, the time frame and the, the situation around HIV in Ireland, we have been, ACT UP has been going for two years in Ireland. We have been trying to uh, wake this country up about the HIV crisis in Ireland. 18, uh, every 18 hours is a new HIV diagnosis in Ireland. That's 10 a week, 500 plus a year. So um, we feel that the time is now, particularly Simon has already made a direct commitment. We're waiting for the trolley to go past. Simon Harris has made a commitment, uh, a public commitment, that we're going to see the rollout of PrEP in uh, the start of uh, 2019. Uh, in order for a, a PrEP to roll out, it needs significant funding, it needs to have community engagement, and that's why we're here today. We want to engage with Simon uh, and see the program, see the plans that they have for the rollout of PrEP, because the community needs to be involved in, in that rollout, and uh, we hope that he'll come down and meet up with us today. Um, who else wants Robbie? To talk? So Robbie, um, there's a card that you have there. What's that? Can you talk about that? So I want to meet Simon Harris today because I want to talk about stigma around people living with HIV, prevention methods, and getting people tested. And one of the best ways we can do that is by promoting you a good message. People living with HIV and effective treatment cannot pass on HIV. We know the risk is zero, and yet. This isn't being taught by the highest level of office, which it should be, especially in Ireland's HIV crisis. We're here to tell Simon about the science and tell him what endorsing this message can do for people living with HIV, what can do for pre prevention me methods, and also getting people to get checked and also adhere to the medication. This is what I'm here for, you because you want to hear from you, Simon. <laughs> Cool, thanks. Uh, so someone came over and is talking to Will uh, about the process here. Tom, do you want to talk about the event on the 19th? 
So, uh, uh, hi, also on the 19th, we'd like to invite Simon Harris to join us at our community forum called Preparing for Prep. Oh, hang on a second, hang on a second, it's getting a little loud there. And back to the all right, go Tom. Preparing for prep. Uh, preparing for prep, um, which is going to be at the outhouse at 6:30 p.m. on 19 July, Thursday, and um, uh, that's a community forum to which everyone is invited, um, including, as we've just indicated, Minister of Health Simon Harris. Um, <clears throat> where we're trying to solicit community uh, feedback and discussion about how um, best we can implement and administer PrEP in Ireland. So the government has promised a PrEP program for Ireland for uh, beginning in January 2019, PrEP pre-exposure prophylaxis for HIV. Um, this is a drug that prevents HIV infection. It's especially needed in communities with high rates of incidence or high vulnerability, including especially the LGBT community, migrants, um, um, drug users, and others. So. Um, um, as government um, plans to implement this program, which they promised again for January uh, 2019, we think it's vital that they meet with the community to uh, hear our concerns and actually hear our ideas about how best that can be done. Um, there's a lot of expertise and knowledge around this. Many people actually are already taking PrEP. They understand the needs. They understand how best it can be um, delivered to patients and what kinds of PrEP, what kinds of needs PrEP patients have. And so uh, we want to discuss that in a community context on um, um, 19 July at that house at 6 30 p.m. Also, the other thing we're doing is uh, the discussion is also more generally about sexual health services, um, which generally in Ireland are woefully underfunded. Um, um, sexual health services. Um, um, are um, um, stretched thin, people are turned away for routine STD and HIV testing, um, access to services in rural areas is woeful, um, and so on. And so um, we'd also like to discuss more broadly this, this situation regarding um, se sexual health services. How best, what would we like to see as a community in terms of delivering sexual health? Um, and so um, um, that's going to be happening as part of that discussion as well. But for the moment, we're sitting here in Hawkins House patiently awaiting our um, uh, Minister of Health um, to discuss prep, among other issues. Cool. Alright, I'm going to check in with Will. Will, you were talking to um, the guy from reception? And yeah, so the guy, from re the guy from reception came down and he said uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, write in and uh, and get an appointment and say we've been through that process already um, and then he said well there's no one here to meet with you we're short staffed and I said well we're short on patients uh, because we've been going through this process for quite a while now and uh, he said well we're short staffed there's no one in the office and I went well somebody must have picked up the phone to you so I said send somebody down because what we need to do is get this sorted we need to have uh, somebody from Simon Harris's department to come down and to meet with us and talk about uh, this serious issue that one that's a, uh, that a vastly uh, disproportionately affects uh, the LGBT community, but also, um, you know, again, back to the plan as well. Uh, the government are putting together a plan for the rollout of PrEP. What does that plan look like? Who does it involve? Um, what is the schemes behind it? If we don't have community involvement behind it, then you don't have uh, a buy-in from the people who it's going to affect or the people who are going to benefit from it. So um, we told um, the, reception, the guy in reception that we're going to stay here until we get uh, a meeting or we get a commitment, a date and a time for a meeting. Um, because it's, it's, a, it's an urgent issue now. Uh, we've already heard from the uh, Taoiseach and we've heard from, the, uh, from Simon Harris that he intends to roll out this program for the start of 2019. It's an extremely short uh, timeline to, to roll out of a uh, prophylaxis, uh, especially when you have a health system in Ireland that has been massively undercut and um, uh, cut in funding. And I'll give you an example, the GMHS, which is uh, the Gay Men's Health Service um, in Baggett Street in, uh, in um, Dublin, has been going for 25 years. Uh, from 2009 uh, uh, to about 2014-15 and ongoing, it has, the, their budget has been cut in half. In that same time, 
uh, new, newly reported diagnosis of uh, uh, HIV amongst gay and bisexual men has doubled. Um, and other STIs too. And other STIs as well. Yeah. Now, um, GMHS isn't just uh, a prep run, it isn't just a, an STI clinic and where they distribute uh, lube and condoms, give HPV vaccines, um, Hep A and Hep B vaccines, but also as well they have a prep monitoring clinic uh, every Thursday from 10 uh, p.m. to no, noon. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> 10 a.m. I do like the idea of a late night prep clinic. <laughs> That would be uh, really that's... convenient for a lot of people, actually. <laughs> actually, that would be something that would be great. Um, why this is, is it... the kind of stuff we want to talk to Simon Harris about. Why, why is it that we only have, uh, uh, we have uh, STI clinics and, uh, and these prep monitor clinics at sort of like in, in the middle of the day, where it doesn't suit uh, the, the, the needs of the people who have to work? And, you know, uh, we have someone here. Hi.